First up, we head to Albany, New York for a sentencing hearing. 20-year-old Alvin Foy III has been convicted of second-degree murder, attempted murder, and weapons charges. Two years earlier, police say Foy and 20-year-old Jameer Manning fired 31 shots into a crowd on Essex Street in downtown Albany. While their alleged target, a man they'd had a dispute with earlier, was hit in the shoulder, one of the stray bullets struck 18-year-old China Forney in the back. The high school senior was taken to a nearby hospital, but died from her injuries. The other victim was treated and released. Foy and Manning, who both knew China, fled the scene. But when police connected them to the vehicle from which the shots were fired, both men were arrested. Manning pled guilty to murder and was sentenced to 20 years to life in prison. Foy pled not guilty and decided to go to trial. When both sides came to rest, the jury returned with a verdict of guilty. Today, the defendant appears before Judge Roger McDonough to hear his sentence, which could range from 15 to 25 years in prison. But first, as Foy flashes a smile, China's sister, who appears off camera, delivers a victim impact statement. Alvin Foy, on May 3rd, 2021, you are a co-defendant. When Foy's smile turns into laughter, Judge McDonough steps in. Excuse me a second. Let the record reflect that the defendant is laughing during the victim impact statement. Go ahead and get my apologize. Um, China was just three weeks away from walking across the stage to graduate high school and you took that opportunity away from her. Despite the judge's comment, Foy continues to make faces. When you came and ate dinner with us, you went out with us multiple times. Um, so we would expect better from you. And um, I just want you to know, like, when you get back to yourself, we want you to think about the pain you caused me and my family and friends. When she's finished, Judge McDonough gives Foy an opportunity to speak. You want to address the court, Mr. Foy? Yeah. Go ahead. Six other witnesses said I wasn't there. You have two females said I wasn't there that was on a FaceTime call. Sir, we're not trying the case. The case has been tried. The jury was convinced like, beyond a reasonable know. doubt. Sir, you can't talk at the same time as I talk because the sonographer is going to take down my words. Okay. If you want your words recorded, you can't try to talk over me. The jury's already decided that issue, sir. Oh. Anything else you want to say to the court, sir? Yeah. You're a biased judge, and I can't wait to appeal to see my case. I'm innocent. Is that why you were laughing throughout the statements by the she was sister? Of, she is that why you were laughing, me. sir? She was laughing at me. Think I'm a Anything else, sir? Yes. Go ahead. Finish. I'm innocent. You've said that already. I know. I'm keeping Anything it. else? But come home. I'm innocent. Before imposing sentence, the judge has a few final words for the defendant. The defendant stands before this court professing his innocence, and regardless of whether you admit to brutally murdering her, you wouldn't sit at sentencing and laugh about it. I didn't do nothing. That's, sir, your time to speak has ended. It's now the court's time to speak. If you can't conduct yourself appropriately, we'll send you back into the jail, and I'll send you without you here. Here's the bottom line, sir. Anyone with a shred of human decency would not sit in the courtroom and laugh at the sentencing one more time, Mr. Mills, let your client know I'm about to send him back into the holding cells. Any individual with a shred of human decency would not laugh, regardless of whether he wanted to assert his innocence or not. He would not laugh and make a joke and slouch in the chair and act like this is a bus stop or a bodega or a park bench. I was wrongfully convicted. Take the defendant back into the courtroom. Put her back into the holding cells. I ain't worried about it. Pull his pants up while you're doing it, please. So the, so the courtroom doesn't have to observe that. She's going to sentence the defendant in his absence. Because he obviously has shown that he cannot conduct himself appropriately. With Foy no longer in the courtroom, Judge McDonough sentences him to 25 years to life in prison. Foy won't be eligible for parole until 2046, when he'd be 44 years old.
Thanks for being a fan of Court Cam. Subscribe to AE to never miss a new video and catch full episodes on AETV.com.